G'day guys, welcome to G-Man Speaks. And do I have a treat for you today? I have a video from the channel FBE Capital, original link in the description, and it is called Why Women Keep Getting Played in Modern Dating. It's a bit of a cracker. Let's have a laugh at it. There's also some gems we can talk about as we go through. What's the worst Tinder date you've ever been on? Okay, so one time this guy told me to come to Queens at 1 a.m. <laughs> Oh, classics. Like, I was that direct back in the day, guys. I used to, yeah, I used to just say, up for action or whatever, question mark. And a lot of the time, they'll say yes. What's this guy saying? Pussy getting fucked or nah? <laughs> oh, legend. I love that. I love that. I'm really, really into Asian women, despite what I'm marrying. Oh. Y'all have a great wedding. And oh, that's a bit rough. And they were planning to f two days after my birthday. I mean, this guy was so cute. I was honestly willing to do anything at this point. I was honestly, honestly willing to do anything at this point. Just the betrayal and like, how could this person that I cared about so much do that to me? String me along for five months as the other woman and still have a live-in girlfriend of three years. They know oh. how a baby together. Came to my- I, I don't know how guys do that. Like, I've never thought of like having side chicks or anything like that. It was worth the risk of completely blowing your life up. The guys sleep with their peckers. I know, I get it. And you hear about stories like that, like back in the day, you know, the guy had another family across town or, you know, uh, around the corner or something. They didn't even know about each other. <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, it's very interesting. So guys, if you've done that, put it in the comments. I'd like to hear about it. <laughs> Like, I'm talking about full-blown having a wife or something and then also having a, a full-blown girlfriend who didn't know about you. Uh, know about the wife. I find that mind-blowing that people risk it. And I'm not a priest, guys. I'm not saying don't go and do do whatever you want. I'm all about monster hunting. I, don't, I just never thought it was worth the risk. My house would put her on do not disturb, go to her house, put me on do not disturb. It was a whole mess two weeks later he's literally engaged to somebody else and i'm like what the heck this is my dating life i'm not a piece of meat you are and they're not going to reciprocate your feelings they're only about themselves and they could care hey, take a look at this chick saying this sort of stuff you can tell right now she is probably the has a heap of no, no, narcissistic and sociopathic traits because someone's done it to her she wants to turn around and complain about it like all guys do that you can't make it up it's it's fantastic care less about you why wasn't i good enough to date you know i was good enough to sleep with i was good enough to hang out with you are good enough to hook up with but not good enough to date i got played all right all right let's let, let's talk about this that's what i really don't understand i always thought women are pretty switched on with dating and all that sort of stuff but i can't work out why guys will have six of them but not go out with them not take them home to mum for christmas or for the birthday or for the barbecue down you know uh, at the park for one of your niece or nephew's birthdays that all the family's going to go to. Because we, we bucket women. That's just the way it goes. Like it's, you got your monster hunters down at Cricket Club. No one knows about them, not even your mates. They don't know about them. You might tell them about it, but you won't show them a picture about it. You know, they're the dirty 250-pound chicks, you know, or midgets or whatever you go and do, you know, behind the cricket ground on a Thursday night or a Tuesday night in the rain. Then you got the ones that you might take out on a couple of dates and, you, and you'll bang them and you'll be seen in public with them. And then maybe, them, they might maybe go potential girlfriend zone, potential, not many make it through. And you got ones that, uh, you know, you look at straight off the bat and you're like, yeah, there's something different about this one. I'm going to give it a crack. But it's, it's a bucketing system. We work it out within 30 seconds, I reckon. All right, I feel like that, that's how I used to operate. I don't know about you guys. Tell me if I'm off the mark, if you guys if I operate differently, but this is how I think, and I think a lot of men think very similar um, in terms of bucketing women. It's just hilarious. And I keep doing the same thing, right? It's the same thing. It's the same guys keep chewing them up and spitting them out. It's hilarious. Good enough to hook up with, but not good enough to date. That is really the essence of today's dating market, which is leading to an ever-increasing number of women who find out the hard way that just because a Chad or Tyrone is interested in you by liking your photos, swiping on you, and asking you to come over, does not mean he's actually interested in you. <sighs> that I'm done. If you've got, if you've got photos like that has had on that pitch on the thing, you know, where chicks got their up, basically got their asshole out on Instagram. You know, you deserve to be pumped and dumped because that's what you're putting out to the world. You're not there in your apron with your mum with a roast lamb on Instagram, you know, showing, um, 
you're showing how proud you are. You did a really nice, nice pot roast and it turned out really well. And you're both wearing your aprons fully covered up. You know, you're there with your asshole out or in gym gear. We can basically see what you had for breakfast. Who are you advertising to? Think about it. I'm done with situationships with guys who are who just using me because you know they want to sleep with me or they just you know want to hook up with me or like or something like that. I'm just very very done. I'm done. I'm exhausted, guys. Yep, she's done and probably was already done for several years. Today she's more like overcooked or burned since she's obviously been played over and over again to the point of complete mental destruction and now sees no path to happiness. And when you look on social media, especially the mental wasteland that is TikTok, you'll find millions of women who've reached the exact same point, complaining about how they are the victims of F-boys, manipulation, gaslighting, etc. It hurts when <laughs> men use manipulation to try to get you to trust them, to let your guard down, to get what they want from you. But in oh, okay, no, hang on. So, they know how it feels. Women have been doing this to men forever. Women are the masters of manipulation and, you know, clandestine tactics to get into your life, to get right in. If they see someone who looks like a target, they will put on an act. They will do the whole bait and switch on you. They will put on a persona. Just like they say that guys put on a persona to have sex with them. Yeah, we do it. Well, I've done it. I've done it times. <laughs> you know, put on a whole fake life just to get some action or disappear because we knew that's all you had to offer. It was nothing else. There was nothing else to get out of you. So we might as well just do that short term, promise you a dream, never deliver. Jason Bourne on it, you know, snap the phone in half, disappear once we've done it. Walk straight out of your house, delete, block, snap the phone, whatever it is. But women do this to men. So sure, yeah, what, what, when we get hurt feelings, they cry a little bit because they feel a bit used up. Men lose all their money. Men go through family court. Men lose access to their kids. <laughs> it's just, have a sook. You know, wow, all her feelings. The guy that I was banging is banging someone else. Get over it. And it's these same types that are on TikTok. And that's why I got this channel. I basically, if you guys, when, earlier on in my channel, even, I still do them every now and again. I go on TikTok. And I find these TikTok videos, the worst kinds of women. They're, just, they're, they're, they're there. You just write in, you know, dating. Bang. Thousands of videos of just chicks carrying on bearing all, telling on themselves <laughs> that they're sleeping around getting just guts absolutely excavated. Uh, <sighs> it's funny. In reality, they are actually all victims of stupidity, which I'll prove to you through several examples of classic Chadness, starting with this girl. I open the door, his apartment's a disaster. He's ginormous too, he's like seven feet tall. He takes me to his room. Right away, he's right ready. Away. <laughs> So check it out, she actually went to a stranger's house at 1 o'clock in the morning, who then took her to his room and fed her a whole bottle of the cheapest wine he could find. He gives me a double bottle of red wine. You can use a smoke thing, wine, wine is very popular, <laughs> wine is the best. Man. Yeah. <gasps> One of the barefoot <laughs> things. Now does this sound like Prince Charming to you or someone? Alright, uh, 998 that's too expensive. They used to do the, uh, I'm not sure if Aldi still does it. They used to do this bottle of wine. It was like $4.95. So back probably about four or five years ago and I was absolutely rampant on it. I used to buy bottles of that um, and have it ready to go. <laughs> Pull them around. Uh, you cook them a steak. You cook them uh, a chicken parma. I used to do that. I used to cook chicken parmas. You know, it cost me 10 bucks to make it, if not less. Five bucks for uh, a bottle of wine. Success guaranteed a lot of the time. You feed them, give them a bit of wine. Ready to go. And you get assistance. I had this one mate. He used to um he used to go down to like a Costco type thing and buy like kilos and kilos and kilos of like Scotch fillet steak. And he'd freeze them. And so he'd always cook the same meal and he'd have these girls around. Um, he was pr pretty prolific. It was probably worse than me at one point. It's probably ten or fifteen, probably fifteen years ago now. And he used to yeah cook the cook steak, have them around. He had the same routine, just same things. He used to put the heating on, so then then I'll take the jacket off. He had a full system. He'll tell me all about it. <laughs> and every time they fell for it, are you gonna blame the guy? I'm like, no, it's called being smart and adapting and working out how to get a, an outcome. It's great.
one using clever manipulation tactics. These people are masters at lying, switching it around, minimizing it. You've got to let go of the idea that you were stupid for falling yeah. for them. No, you are stupid for falling for them. Since these tactics are ridiculously easy to observe and chads do not even try to hide their intentions. There's no dates, no dinner, no manipulation or special tactics being used. It's just simply come to my house ASAP. It depends, you know, like sometimes they want to go out and have like dinner. Maybe I don't want to go to dinner, you know, because I see her a different way. And so they're really attractive. I'll go out to a drink. To Same. a bar or something, you know. Same. But like, but if they're not, yeah, one point lower, like, they're coming over, you know what I mean? <laughs> See, that is how chats actually operate. None of this manipulation or love bombing nonsense that you keep hearing about on social media, which is just a coping mechanism for women to hide behind for when they think with their f***ness and they get used by a chat who sees no value in them at all. You know somebody there? I see a girl I hooked up with multiple times <laughs> last year. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're all sharing, that's the thing, that's the thing about like Bumble and, and, and Hinge and all that, and I was on there, it was like, it's always the same people are on there, you know, every now and again you see new people come through, but you've got the same, they're like institutionalized, so there's going to be occurrences where people you know have probably banged them as well. It's hilarious, it's just like everyone's just swapping, these women are just getting passed around, swapped, uses, you know, sex toys by the sort of these kind of guys. <laughs> And they're still hanging on. They still, you still see them there five and ten years later with the same profile, hanging on, thinking that one of these guys will eventually take him off the market. Like, come on. Uh, Interesting. Yeah. I never see her. You never saw her? No. She's good, man. You'll like her. <laughs> and so when Chad says, come over to my place at 1 a.m., they don't hesitate at all and run to his call like a true simp. What's the furthest you'll drive for a guy? Uh, it's like 400 miles. I had one chick do a four hour round trip in a day to come over for about half an hour. Just in and out, bang, and then she went home. That's what I say to guys. Like, guys can think of all these strategies. They think about, oh, I need to take her out for a nice meal, take her out for dinner. You know, if I buy the lobster instead of the salad, uh, it's going to make a difference uh, in the outcome. It doesn't. They've already made their mind up. Just like we make our mind up within 30 seconds, they've made their mind up what's going to happen. So you buying them a lobster, I think it's going to be, or a, taking them out to a better restaurant or wearing a different jacket or whatever you go and do, it's not going to move the dial in any way. If a girl likes you, she will have sex with you behind a dumpster, behind a dirty Chinese restaurant somewhere, you know, smelly rotten fish in it. She'll just let you bang it doggy style up against the wall. Don't you worry about that. 40 degree day, no worries. There's no secret. There's no masterful tactics or this PUA bullshit. If a girl truly likes you, you don't really need to do much. Miles? Yeah. Yeah. This guy told me to come to Queens at 1am. Please drop a like on the video if you think that these girls getting played by chads is 100% their own fault. Yes. And comment down below what you think. Now after a couple times of bedroom fun. Hey, do you wash your covers when your guy, when your guy doesn't have Yeah. Right after, really? No, a week after. Oh, oh cochina. So I'm on there. Oh, you oh, could. Amy. The oh. chat will stop texting since he was never interested in the girl to begin with. But too lazy. Sometimes too lazy. Sometimes, like I say, I was and then just wife. So yeah. And so the classic ghosting happens, causing these women to run the TikTok to claim that they are now the victim of a narcissistic, emotionally abusive ex. My ex-boyfriend was a raging narcissist, and I'm going to tell you some stories. Missing your narcissistic ex or wanting to go back to them? When you forgive a narcissist in a relationship, right? They're going to disrespect <laughs> you. They're going to lie to you. They're going to manipulate you. They're going to cheat you. There's a reason why your narcissistic ex claims that you're the one who's a narcissist. Listen to me. If you're healing from narcissistic abuse, you need to hear this. This is what you call zero accountability. Absolutely. <laughs> and... Guys, I always talk about this in all my videos, and I've done like 150 TikTok videos. So go and check out my my, my prior catalog, guys. Like I've, I've gone, I've done it to death, and I'm sure I'll do some more in the future. I do like doing them, um, but they give you a real insight. It's like a mirror. You, they're holding up a mirror. You're seeing truly how their minds work, I mean, and they just, I, I don't know. I can not see many guys going, Bleh, just telling everything on the internet for anybody to hear the most intimate details. But I'll talk about narcissism. I talk about narcissism, uh, abusive uh, partners, stuff like that. When I was out dating, like I said, I, I was married for a couple of years, guys. Didn't work out. Ended back up on the dating scene. When I went out there, 
every girl I started going out with was telling me, oh, because, you know, it always comes up in conversation. Oh, are you single? How long have you been single? Blah, 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 whatever. Oh, yeah, my ex was a narcissist. He was a cheater. He was abusive. I'm innocent. I'm here. I don't even want to be here. You know, I was thrown back into the market. And I was believing it. I was like, oh, fuck, there's some real scumbags out there. You know, I don't know there are scumbags out there, but I'm not as many as what they all make out. I started going on more dates. I'm just hearing the same story. It's like they have a script, like a playbook, and um, they, they read it off to try and just say, they expunge any accountability for wrecking a relationship because they want to manage and maintain how they look and they want to garner sympathy from you. And they, they're, they're smart. They know how to play to a man's, a man's instincts. Oh, well, he was abusive and he was this. And, and a guy goes, oh, well, I'm here to save you now. You know, you're in good hands now. It's all bullshit. <laughs> Uh, got about halfway through. So if you're enjoying the um, video today, uh, please subscribe. Aiming for 10K subscribers. We are slowly creeping up. So I appreciate you joining us on the growth journey. And yeah, let's watch your videos through. That's what really helps me out. Like, comment, engage with it. Um, really appreciate all you guys who do so. As these women take absolutely no accountability at all for handpicking guys to tell them from the start, hey, the come out. over and let me use you. You really like this, hmm. So that's, yeah, that's yeah, how you yeah, open yeah. You open up with, hmm. <laughs> so, what we paid it. <laughs> Welcome to dating in the 21st century. Anyways, moving on because it's about to get a lot worse in these next examples that really demonstrate why these women keep getting played over and over and over again by classic Chads and Tyrones causing all hope to disappear. It's already too late. You already love him. That already means that you're gonna get hurt. It's too late. It really just spiraled me into like a rabbit hole and it takes me to like a dark place. And it's gonna drop you into this rabbit hole of never f***ing finding peace. Oh. But I know what it's like for a man, I can tell you that much. So one guy rejects them or plays them around, some guy they care about. As I said in my other videos, like if, if a woman doesn't want you, they are ruthless. They can play their hard done by, they're altruistic, they're angelic, they do. They have all the right behaviors, they're sugar and spice and all things nice. Guys, a lot of you who do watch, you've been on the other end, right? You've been on the other end of getting your ass kicked to the, to the curb. How much sympathy was there then? How much do they care about you then? I mean, how we, how much do they care about how you might take it? The, the, the news um, of getting broken up with. Oh, you're fuck. They block, delete you. Yep. Oh, yeah. By the way, yeah, we're done now. Don't call me again. Fuck off. Bye, bang. But they're on here crying. <laughs> and they would have done it to so many dudes. But one guy does it to them. Can't happen. Aww. All these hopeless romantics who just want a nice guy to love them and be loyal. But somehow these mean evil chats keep popping up in their dating apps and forcing them to swipe on them. There's clearly nothing these helpless women can do. Right. Now the reality is of course that the average guy cannot pull this off at all. This special power is reserved for chats and Tyrones only. I think we have gathered 80 matches. <laughs> and these guys are not using clever tricks. Chats will simply say what they want and what they're thinking since they really don't give a f because they've actual thing to do. We haven't even ordered our coffee yet. This guy goes, you're chubbier in person and goes like this at my belly. <laughs> yep, classic chat. You see, a guy that's serious about dating a girl would never have said that, but Chad definitely will since he's already got three better options lined up right now, so why would he bother with small talk or trying to please her? Dating apps only to re-download them as ridiculous, but it's not so bad because then I get to meet people like you. I want to come up <laughs> and this is where all of these bad relationships, hookups, situationships, whatever you want to call them, start out with. But I want to say too, like people say, oh, and guys, I'm not a, a chat. I don't never say I am, but I had a good luck on the um on the apps and stuff like that. So I know what that life can be like and having abundance on there and just having heaps of chicks. So I know, I know what that's like. It's not a brag. I just tell you what happened. But what they're not showing is all the ugly chicks. Yeah, okay, they're showing some pretty ones. And, and and what sort of set me off on this point of topic is the guy, if we go back, she had like some average chick that was simping for him, basically. That's generally going to be the target market if you want a woman honest. Like if you want to um, get a high volume. Like you don't go for the hot ones. I always talk about this. Don't go for hot. They're a waste of time and money and effort. And generally not worth the outcome. They're no better. All the vaginas are the same, guys. They all feel the same when your balls deep in them. When they're dropping neck, they've got the same throat. It's all the same. 
then my looks look a little bit better. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? It's like, you know, you got your VN Commodore or your VN Calais. You know, you still got it from 1988, 1989. It gets you down to Coles, gets you down to Woolworths, doesn't it? You know, you don't need a Maserati. Right? It's more affordable, reliable, gets the job done. Gets you from A to B, sometimes C. But that's what I'm saying. You get these guys that are like, and I'm sure maybe there are some guys out there that, are, that can, but like you get all these you know, the mega hot chicks all the time, you know, all those sort of models from the magazines, you know, the other types I'm talking about, you know, centerfold chicks. And they, 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 guys, people think they Chad guys are out doing that. No, they're banging all the fucking fat and ugly chicks down at the park, getting them to come over to the house, you know, single mums and shit. <laughs> That's what's happening. It's just huge numbers of it. That's the reality. You're not getting models and hot babes all the time. They take those ones take effort. They're not worth it. Happy for you to disagree with me in the comments, guys. But I'm saying that if you want guys who are, if they can get a different chick every day or three a week or two a week or whatever it might be, it's going to be you know, women that are far, points far below that are just going to chase you. Since these women are handpicking these guys to then complain that all men are like this. It's women want to be able to have casual without being traumatized. Every you guys time. would do that. There is such. That's a PBJ, guys. That's a maybe a double paper bag. If one one falls off, you got a second one there. Yeah, you can still do that. Like two o'clock in the morning down the park in the rain, whatever. <laughs> oh no, no, I only go for hot chicks. Oh, oh. bullshit. You've done it, and you would do it again. Thing is, like treating somebody like a woman and having a basic amount of respect with some type of. Empathy and compassion for them and curiosity doesn't mean that you want to uh, marry them, you know? And I feel like this is lost. This is lost to so many B guys. <laughs> oh, hey, again. He's living a oh, dream. Hey. Wait, we, we've talked before? I've had I don't remember <laughs> speaking to this particular woman. When in reality, it's just a very small group. I see get chicks text me and say, hey, remember me? Or have you forgotten about me? I'm like, I've forgotten about you. I don't even have your number anymore group of men who have the luxury and spend zero effort on getting laid since 80% of women are all fighting over the exact same small group of guys. I constantly just feel my phone vibrating the messages that are coming in. See, they're monsters in there. They're not hot. Of messages. Monsters. Now this all applies to situations where the chat actually shows up, but since chat is so busy with all of his hookups, he sometimes simply forgets to cancel and double books them. And then he's like, okay, we'll just see you know, some like people's girlfriends are coming over. And I was like, cool. Not expecting it to be his girlfriend or a date he invited. <laughs> I just drove like an hour cool. out of my way to come hang out with this guy at his house. Um, and I noticed that my message wasn't delivering. I tried to give him a call and his phone goes straight to voicemail. So I'm like, okay. So I walk up to the door, I ring the doorbell, bunch of dogs barking, nobody answers. Oh, no worries, darling. Just wait 40 minutes for Chad to finish and then he's all yours. Yep, being a Chad is hard, man. You basically need an assistant to schedule all of your hookups and then maintain texting contact. However, you'll probably end up banging her and ghosting her too, so that's probably not gonna work out. But hey, it can actually get worse because Chad can also simply refuse to sleep with you to your face after meeting you for just two seconds to then decide to leave since he doesn't want to waste his time. Tinder date, right? We meet outside, meet together. He looks at me up and down and goes, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> so we get there and we meet in the parking lot. So he got a full view of me. He gets up, goes to the bathroom, comes back, throws down a $10 bill and walks out. <laughs> yep, another classic Chad with more options than a freaking NBA player dodging the- No, but it isn't just that. Isn't it because you're an asshole and they make out these people are superhuman? That chick there was, you know, a two on a good day and she probably had all these perfect profile. This has happened to me a bunch of times. You turn up and they're just not who they've sold you to be. That's why girls get pissed off when you ask them for more photos. Because you're going to expose them for what they truly look like because their bumbles are highly curated. Their, their hinges are highly curated. Um, their pictures have taken 100 takes of a certain angle to get a certain look that they like, a certain side of their face. And then you turn up and the penguin's waddling up, you know, from Batman. <laughs> They turn up, hey, oh, you J-Man, some shazzy. 
It's like, what? Those six and sevens like a pro. Now, what's actually happening here is that these women are actively picking men that are so far out of their league that they themselves can't even believe that these guys are for real. All right, so first things first, we're gonna start off with Tinder. These girls love this picture. And I think the reason is, is because I'm cooking. I've never, I don't think I ever cooked for any one of these girls. The amount of times that girls comment on how good my pictures are in regards to the quality and all that stuff, it's just insane. You see, this is exactly the state of dating today, where average chicks are only picking the very best of guys they can find on these apps after which they get super excited when they actually match and start imagining themselves having little Chad babies. However, <laughs> Chad and Tyrone are in a completely different state of mind and they are just swiping on everything like there's no tomorrow. This is the trick on no, that is, you that swipe on everything because the running heat. <laughs> See, they don't even care who they actually swipe on. They'll sort that out later when they start sending those clever manipulative text messages like, hey, come over and bring food. Is the bar that low that you want me to drive to you and buy you food? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, this one gets me every time, man. Now don't get me wrong. If a girl's actually hot, as in an eight, nine, or 10, then yes, Chad's will put in a bit of extra effort, maybe even go as far as to go on an actual date. However, if the girl is just average, a true- I don't know, it got to the point with me where I wasn't even doing that. It, it, I might fork out. Uh, if what was it back then, maybe four dollars fifty for a coffee. That that was going to be it. There was no first date meals or anything like that. So yeah, I guess I valued my money a bit more than Chase and Slurries around. But it was always see what I can get out of it for a coffee, basically. Chat will not waste his time on her at all, since they have hundreds of girls waiting to do whatever they ask. I was honestly willing to do anything at this point. And this is exactly the type of behavior that leads to millions of women being in situationships, thinking that they are in real relationships, and to most men not even getting dates, which then gets documented in articles like these. And this is where stupidity really takes off. We're going to talk about this article that just came out in Psychology Today, The Rise of Lonely Single Men. Well, if it isn't the consequences of your actions coming back to bite ya. We are How ironic is that? So these are the ones that are making the bad decisions. <laughs> this, this, this thing here that looks like um, fucking Quasimodo with a wig on. Not really realizing how ignorant and just basically retarded they sound by saying that. It's like women are the ones that really at the most of the time are going to have to pay the piper when it comes to really poor decisions with, with men when, as they get a bit older. It's not, it's not really the men who, who have that thing, they have that happen if they want to go and bang chicks and it just doesn't happen that way. It's fucking funny. Going to stay single and happy, whereas y'all are going to stay single and frustrated. So it's your choice. Mark my words, this era that we're living through right now is the return of the matriarchy. Men need to address skills deficits to meet healthier relationship expectations. Yep, these women are laughing, thinking that they are actually accomplishing something when they hear that most women are in relationships and that most men are single and lonely, often accompanied with the phrase, women are raising their standards. Now that women are self-sufficient, they're expecting more from their men. Every single one of you, myself included, needs to raise your standard. There's a rise in low. You gotta love that, you gotta love that. I've made so many videos on these guys, go check them out if you're interested in my back catalog, but women are always increasing their standards as they age. I just never really understood that. They come to a point where literally you can't even talk to them anymore because they're so rude, obnoxious, and angry because all the guys that have gone through them um, add to that extra, you know, an extra requirement for the next guy. And so they, 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 they're they out there running around getting piped down for 10, 15 years. You know, they get to sort of 35, 36, 37, 38. Those were the angriest ones I ever came across. Sure, some of them can hold up and still look really good. But from a personality um, and reasonable, reasonableness perspective and someone you actually want to spend time with and hang around with, it's like zero. Because they're so nasty, angry, because every day they're going on dates, they're raising standards, they're having dickheads like I used to be just doing a scummy shit, you know, rooting, booting, disappearing, blocking, deleting them. Because when a woman is difficult, especially even on a first date, I would have made it my mission just to pump and dump them and then block and delete. <laughs> just, 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 just so I felt like I was getting them back. 
for being rude and nasty or, or whatever, like obnoxious, hard to be around. I'm like, well, okay, I've worked you out. You're undateable. You, you're not girlfriend material anyway. I can't even take you on dates. I'm going to get what I want out of it and I'm gone. Lonely single men. Time, we're tired. We are sick and tired. And honestly, this points a question of when is it the men's time to step up? However, this just shows their complete ignorance when it comes to basic math. Since unless these women are all lesbians, I don't see how you are pairing the majority of women with an actual guy, while at the same time most men are single. The only way this works is if you are pairing these women with the exact same guy, and that is exactly what's going on. He finally let me in his phone, and I'm seeing all these texts come through from random numbers like Mercedes Benz dealerships and stuff, <laughs> but they were flirty messages from girls because I could see the preview. I clicked open the conversation, there was like pictures of girls in their conversation. I was just in shock. So he was like, I don't even know a Cynthia. You take the notifications off anyway. If you're going to do that, like I back in the day when I was juggling heaps of chicks, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have your, that's a rookie move to have your phone notifications or your dating app notifications come up. Notifications off, silent, even for messages, you can do that on an iPhone or whatever. Well, that's just rookie mistake. You're opening up a can of drama right there and then, all right guys, so that's probably enough. It goes on for a little bit longer. Um, go check the original uh, if you would like. Um, the link is in the description. It's a really good video, so give them a like and all that sort of jazz. I'll see you in the next one. Once again, guys, thank you very much for making it this far.